What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another episode of Action Figure Surgery. Today, we got some good stuff going on. I will say, it's not like the greatest day of all time of surgery, I don't think, but I think it's going to be a very good execution day. I had some other things I want to do. You know, with the addition of the double-jointed arms, I really wish that they were like the old arms, right? Where you could just pop and play, right? We could heat up with the hair dryer, we could put them in the boiling water, we could pop them off and just re-pop them right into the other figures. It would have made everything a lot easier. Maybe one day they'll transition to that. I think, I mean, maybe even some of these figures have that ability, but I do not know that just yet. I think what you have to do is crack the torso, you know, put it in boiling water, crack the torso, open, uh, open them up, you know, open up both upper torsos, pop the shoulders out, pop the shoulders back in to get that double jointed look after you super glue the torso back together. And that's just something I don't like typically doing on surgery videos because it's a lot harder to film. It's a lot harder to get on video and, and, and the way like I have to film it and do it and I can't really execute it the way I would like to when I'm trying to film it and it's just a lot more risky on camera and all those different things and I didn't want to just show the figure and then jump cut and then show what the fix up looks like unless I'm just going to show you a bunch of fix ups in one video maybe we can do that because I have some other things I want to do but I need more copies of certain figures and different things like that but I still think we have a pretty good day of surgery right here and I'm excited to get into it as you guys can see we got Elite 91 in the house. We got some Unrivaled. We got some good new figures going on, and I think today's going to be a successful day. So, let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to do today on Action Figure Surgery. So, you guys can see RVD just chilling right here. Let me go ahead and get my thumbnail. Wait, I think I already got my thumbnail. Let me see if I got my thumbnail. Did I get my thumbnail? Okay, I got my thumbnail. Okay, awesome. Okay, good. So, you guys can see RVD chilling right here. What we're going to do to him, we're going to take both of his figures. Yes, you'll see I have two versions of it. The reason I got two versions of it is because I love this figure, right? It was my favorite figure from 2021. It was just freaking fantastic. But you guys can see here we have both versions of RVD here. No chase figure, unfortunately. But since we have two RVDs here, I am going to switch out their kick pads and put the smaller open knee pads on right here. So I have this Austin Theory basic we're going to use. We're going to get his, you know, lower legs off, pop these open knee pads off, and pop these open knee pads onto the RVD to fix him, you know, give him more articulation, things like that. Because you guys know, once he comes back to the pick fed realm, once I get back into the pick fetting process he will be featured on tv a lot he's got a big showdown coming up later so we have rvd and austin theory and the knee pads we're gonna have to take care of that so that should be relatively simple but a very nice trick to get some smaller knee pads onto our rvd next up we have kevin owens extreme champion right here now i don't know whose idea this was i i, I don't want to like completely butcher it i i can't remember who it was that told me about this fix up or recommended this fix up but it was pretty freaking fantastic so what we're gonna do is we're going since he's on ball joints both of these guys are on ball joints all KOs are on ball joints we're going to pop his legs off we're going to heat the legs up switch the legs so that he has these blue KOs on his shorts here instead of the fight and fight give him a little bit more blue into the gear with the white so it'll tie in together here put these legs over here I have this extra KO fodder here laying around and then we will put the boots onto these shorts so that way we have the boots with the blue we have the shorts with the blue then we have the shirt with the blue and it all matches very well and nice I think that'll be beautiful really easy and simple again a huge shout out to whoever that was that recommended that. I cannot remember who it was, but I appreciate you. Next up, we have Hulk Hogan. We're just going to do a simple head swap with him with the Ultimate Edition. Should be relatively simple. I'd like to do some other things with Hulk Hogan's, but I need more of them. And I don't like this torso for him on this figure. I'd like to switch that, but that'll have to come at a later date as well. Very similar to the double jointed arm syndrome thing that we got going on. Next up, we got some more head swaps in the building. I want to take this HBK, the new WrestleMania figure, and I want to head swap it with this this weird like conundrum basic 100 HBK sort of elite here. It's like the WrestleMania flashback figure. I had like two, three, four of these figures, so I, I just kind of played around and mixed them together. Don't mind these kick pads. They don't go on this figure. That's why they look so weird, but we're going to pop this head sculpt onto this figure to give him kind of a different look there. I think that'll look pretty sick, so this head over here will be another great fix-up. We also have some Sami Zayn. I don't know why, but I feel like this Sami Zayn head on this body will look insane so, or in Zane. There you go. Pop this head off, put it over here on the, like, heel plaid pants from Elite 63, and put this head sculpt over here. I think that'll work out okay as well. I'd really like to get another one of this figure. I think it's on back order right now. I want to get another one of these and put some double jointed arms on this guy, do some other cool stuff, because I still want a Sammy with this head on this body, so I need to pick up another one of those to make that happen, but, uh, yeah, we got, we got Sammy Zane in the house. And then, for our Young Bucks, we're just going to put the torso and head of the series.
Series 3s right here onto the Series 7. See what that looks like. Get all the good stuff going. And that pretty much wraps up what we're doing here today, man. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into WWE slash AEW action figure surgery. So I guess the first thing that we can do is I guess we can start off with Hulk Hogan. So Hulk Hogan's really simple because we're using an Ultimate Edition head sculpt and on these new Elite figures, you can literally just pop their heads off and that's just excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on the Ultimate Edition head sculpt with the darker beard. Kind of give him that 2002 look here. And he is, oh my god, I snagged it. What a snag. So we're just going to pop this head on here. Kind of give him a different look here because I have two of this figure as well. I have two of the Elite 91. Good God, that head sculpt is on there, bro. Looks like a damn bobblehead now. Urgh. Yeah, he needs a new torso, but I like the way this head looks on here. Good God, that's tightness. But uh, now we take the headband, we can put that on there, and then put the glasses on there. Yeah, that looks pretty freaking sweet. Dude, that looks way better to me already. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Look at that. Gets the people going. Well, for Hulk Hogan, that was relatively simple. Not a lot of stuff going on right there. It didn't need any heat. I mean, that's the kind of fix-ups I like, man. The ones where you don't need any heat whatsoever. You can just fly in there, fly out. And that's how this next one's gonna be. We have Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson, and then Matt Jackson, J Jackson, J Nick Jackson. So just pop that off there and then take Nick and then pop this onto here. This should look way better. Yeah, look at that, dude. I gotta get more of this figure. Look at that right there. We're gonna have to look at that in a second. So we got our, we got another pair of Young Bucks. I'm in the process of ordering more of the, uh, not the Series 3 body, but the Series 1 B bodies. That way you can put those Series 1 B bodies on like all the different figures. And you know, I need more Series 3 Nick heads because I don't like the Series 8 or the Series 1 really. So there's a purple headband with a weird body. And then for Matt, same exact deal. Pop off the top. Pop off the top, put this over here. Now, this wouldn't look bad, but this head sculpt and the way it fits the body is just dreadful. It is so dreadful. I hate it. So, there's that, and then now we can pop this on here, and now we have Lakers gear bucks with white wrist tape and better head sculpts, which we'll take a look at at the end. Just so much better, man. Jesus Christ, that looks so much better. They need to get them better head sculpts next go around. Next up, I don't think we can do anything else without heat, so it looks like we're going to have to get the white trusty hair dryer. Now, for Sami Zayn, we do want to remove the hat. We do want to remove the jacket it's the it's the terms and conditions of the action figure surgery if you want to keep everything intact keep all your accessories intact it's something you want to do you gotta love the double jointed but we don't have to worry about the head we could literally just pop that off so this body actually can just go chill over here can't believe they didn't give him chest hair that's another thing i'd like to torso swap that with something but uh put this over here we don't have to heat that head up we are going to have to heat up this Sami Zayn head if we want to put it on that body back there. And uh, putting this head sculpt over here. So we're going to keep him here for the heating up process. We do know we want to heat up the legs of the Kevin Owens. So we're going to, you know, do a little weird Z right here. And this Kevin Owens is the same way. So we do want to heat up this. So we need to heat up that like that. Still looking a bit weird Z. Um, I highly doubt, I honestly don't think we're going to be able to just heat all this up and get it in one go. You know, anything's possible at this juncture, but, um... Got to heat up the boots of the Austin Theory. I don't know, man. You guys know how it is. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it falls flat on its stupid, freaking ugly face. So, I don't know, man. This is very dangerous. Honestly, stupid. Very stupid, but we're going to go for it. If you've ever done a kick pad swap or popped kick pads off with these with these uh, RBD legs right here, like those kind of kick pads, the AJ Styles ones, very, very difficult. It can be very challenging. So, we might epically fail. We could, again, we could fall flat on our faces. And another thing we want to do is remove the vest of the HBK. Don't want that damaged in any stretch of the imagination. So, remove that. Get that away from your heat. Any accessories, man? just go ahead and take them off and this doesn't pop off it's not like the other figures so you can't just pop this off and wait for the heat unfortunately so we're gonna stick that here and then last but not least we have one more rbd now this is gonna be just awful oh man please don't let me embarrass myself in front of my audience all right so <laughs> uh why do we even attempt this garbage this isn't gonna work man oh my lord i will be utterly flabbergasted if we're able to do this but i'm gonna get the white trusty hair dryer and we're going to put it in position here, in solid position, and we're going to see if we can heat all this up at the same time and see if we can actually get all this switched in one go. Alright guys, 
guys, that was a decent amount of time. I honestly don't know what to expect here. It could be freaking awful. God in heaven, I'm afraid. Ugh. All right, let's go ahead with RVD here. You got to think, my, my thumbs are no longer trained. Remember, like, we used to pop surgery out, like, every freaking week, you know? Every other week we were doing surgery. It's been a minute, so my thumbs, I don't know if they're going to retain the experience that they used to have, you know what I'm saying? But here is our first thing. Got to make sure you get the right. All right, this is the left one, so the left one will go here. Slide this on. We're actually, like, this actually went on a lot better or came off a lot easier than I thought it would. So if we pop that on there and then get the left kick pad right here. All right, there's that, and then the other side. Actually not horrific so far. We're actually having a really nice start and my fingers are not uh super destroyed right now so we're actually making good time and we're making good progress right there okay rvd can look at in just a second hbk head popped off other set of kick pads boom oh f come on all right, that was pretty good right there. Got to slide these. I don't even know. Like, I understand that these are accurate, you know, but they need to come up with a bigger mold. This mold's been around forever and ever. I feel like they could uh, get a new one if they wanted to. I'm actually impressed with myself right now. I mean, we're, we're making good progress, and we haven't burnt the fingers off, so it's actually a win-win right now. We're actually making really good time. I mean, this is impressive, man. To say the least, Dr. Whitekiss, I guess you never count out Dr. Whitekiss. Dr. Whitekiss is just legendary at this moment right now. I mean, like, I, I completely counted him out. Didn't expect him to be able to do this after such a long absence from the surgery table. But, I mean, he, he's coming out, and he's making a lot of noise right now. So, all right, if we can get this other knee pad off, we're going to be in really good shape. The only one that I'm slightly afraid of at this moment is the other HBK head and then the KO legs. I'm not really worried about Sami Zayn at the moment. Ugh. All right, got that. All right, HBK head. Oh, wow, that was actually way easier than I expected it to be. So, basic 100 head. Again, I have another one of these because I actually like the OG head they put on there. It's just really old. So, I wanted to kind of have a different look there. So, there is that. I guess I can put these boots back on here just so we can have a crowd member or something because this, this head sculpt's oversized just like the Elite. So, we can't switch it onto the Elite and fix it. I guess I could put this head over here on HBK so he's not headless just to give us something. He'll probably be a damn bobblehead. I'm wasting, wasting precious time for the others, but, uh... Oh, F! Mmm. That is... That is so shish. That is so shitty. Mmm. Well, what can we do? Well, handy-dandy pliers. Ah! Alright, if you didn't know, that's how you get head sculpts off, but... This will go on here, on the Elite 63. will go on the Elite 91, like that. That'll go over there, and then this right here now is gonna... <laughs> Why? Why did this have to happen? Actually, I can actually probably fix this. If we take this and we bend this back without breaking it... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Mm -mm. Nope, not gonna happen. Yeah! There you go. Well, you see what it was supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. Here's what it's supposed to look like. Damn it! All right. Well, that was a failure. Now I definitely got to get another one. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's move on to Kevin Owens. Not even hot enough now. Mm. We failed worse than I thought. Christ, we were moving so well. Everything was going so dandy, handy dandy notebook. My God in heaven, why? There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. And there's that. And then, boom, boom, blue boot over here. Mmm. God, all right, that was a little hot. Mmm. All right, get that KO out of my face before I have to throw hands. That goes here, other shorts leg, and then kick pad. I hate how the KOs have Johnny Gargano syndrome, but I guess it's not the end of the world, you know? Like, we're pretty used to it by now. It's not even a thing, so... I can't believe we broke that Sami Zayn. Damn! Well, I guess I'll see you guys in a segment where we cover everything we've done on action figure surgery. All right, guys, so taking a look at everything we've done here today, starting out first with Hulk Hogan. We kind of saw him earlier, but damn, the dark beard just makes him look better, in my opinion. You know, it's a different style rather than what we got. 
But uh, I still would like to change the torso, but it's still, you know, it's a solid little figure. I like the little fix-up right there. I'll take it. You know, again, this is my second one, so having that fix-up is pretty sweet. We have Kevin Owens right here. A huge shout-out to whoever that was that told me about this, because this looks pretty damn fire. What do you guys think? You guys like it like this or like the normal way? I think all the blues and whites and all that stuff ties in really, really sweet. I like it a lot. KO's a beast, and this represents him perfectly. I like it. You know, it, it may not be accurate, but it's, it kind of makes like a sweet fix-up KO. Still want to get one of the original. You know, I'm sure when I find him at retail, I'll get plenty, but still a really sweet fix up here. Shawn Michaels looks good. I still think I like the original better, but since I had two, again, fixing up one of them doesn't bother me. Gives it a different look. I think if it had a 5 o'clock shadow, it would look better. I know there was like a variant or something of the basic 100 that I think had that, but this looks pretty sweet. I like that right there. RVDs look great. I mean, no doubt about it. That, that looks way better. He can articulate now. Both versions have their open knee pads. They'll be able to bend the knee and get all the stuff done that they need to get done. I mean, it's beautiful. What do you want? That's, that's what we play the game for, right? That that's, that's just excellent. Here's Shawn Michaels. Not much to him. I mean, he is what he is. It's just a little fix-up deal there. And last but not least, we do have the Bucks here. And look how much better these Young Bucks look without those terrible head sculpts on there. Putting those Series 3 and the Series 1B matte head sculpt on here, just look at how sweet that looks. I actually don't have a problem with that at all. Need to get a couple more there. I'd like a pair that are, you know, normal right out of the packaging, how they come Series 7, and then have our fix-ups. That way, you know, you get the original, then you have your fix-up deals. But uh, I like those a lot. I like the way that... That makes the figures not look so bad. Like, they wouldn't even be some of the worst figures of the year if they had released like that. I don't mind just the tights change there. So, if they give us new head sculpts, make them better, you know? Don't make a worse head sculpt. But that is going to wrap up WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. What a great episode. You know, solid here. Nothing over the top insane. I do really love... I think KO wins the day is my favorite fix-up. The rest are kind of, you know, very sleek. You know, not really too outside the crazy box. But, unfortunately, our Sami Zayn fix-up did not work out. But, you know, sometimes that's... The, you know, that's the risks of surgery, but Kale wins the day for the fix-up of the day. Let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comment section below. That is going to wrap up today's surgery. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and don't cross the line like the damn Sami Zayn figure that broke its neck. F! Yeah.